Well, I'm hyped up on it because I, that's all I watched growing up was tennis. Yeah. What happened between you and Krista? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right to it. Right to it. Because I, I don't buy. Listen. Nobody buys it. And, and I'm going to get the truth. Yeah. So here's the deal. Yeah. I don't buy that it was like a, you know, a mutual, you know, departure. Hmm. I, mean, I believe there was a blowout. Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, if we were to call it a band outside of Wham, what would it be? Outside of Wham, that's hard. It's got to be a duo. Um, oh, Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, wow. Was that a bad breakup? <laughs> or Paul Simon. <laughs> 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 You're fucking Paul Simon. So um, I don't know if it was a bad breakup, but uh, I'm sure uh, Garfunkel was sad about it. Yeah. Because Paul had, you know what I mean, a big career. Yeah. yeah. Garfunkel, I don't know what he did. <laughs> Maybe he th those picks for his hair, you know. Maybe uh, he had, started a company or something. He had yeah. a beautiful, <laughs> unique fro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what happened? Um, yeah, we had an amicable split. No, it wasn't. There we go. It was completely amicable. There's no way it was. We were just about to pop. We had just gotten. <laughs> <started> <laughs> no, that's what it is. <laughs> I'll tell you why I know it's not. Okay. I'll tell you why I know it's not because it's one of those things where it's like, um, let's suppose, let's go back to Wham, mm -hmm. right? So I don't know Wham's career, right? But I'm sure they got together or whatever they did, you know what I mean? But they also played, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And right before, like, a big major label was about to sign them, them breaking up, like the day before. Mm -hmm. So I believe that there was some sort of fight or blowout. I also believe that it wasn't your fault. I believe it was Chris DiStefano's fault. Garfunkel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was Garfunkel's Gar fault. It was Gar Garfunkel's fa something. fault, right? <laughs> And um, I believe that it, there was some there's some bad blood. Now let me let me ask you something. You don't have to get specific. You don't have to get specific because I know. Other I feel people. like an international war criminal. <laughs> I know. Doesn't know this glass make it? It looks like the Hague in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what I I'm feel saying, like I'm a Bosnian war criminal. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna drink poison. Yeah. Like, remember when he drinks the poison and kills himself? Uh, yeah. yeah. Who so Yeltsin? No, yeah, some other uh, Macedonian or another country in Wait, the east. Yeltsin Eastern. is alive. Yeah, he likes vodka. Oh, is he yeah. still alive, Yeltsin Boris? Yeltsin? I, I know what you're trying to do. I'm trying to deflect. I, I'm trying to help not, you out. I know. <laughs> the war criminal. Where's your mom, Pete? I need to play tennis. <laughs> Are your panties wet? So, um, I'm sorry for asking. I have to because no. you know it's one of those things where when I heard about it through the grapevine, it it could kind of hurt me. I heard. I heard you lost sleep over it. I did. Like, very and, upset. Um, yeah. And so, uh, was it De Stefano's fault? Uh, De Stefano? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> didn't bother to yeah memorize it. Um, I, no, I can't. I can't. I don't. You know, we 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 did a last episode. It was great. It was we 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 were ha we were both happy. We hugged. We're still very good friends to this day. I don't think you are conscious <laughs> uncoupling. We did it. Yeah, it was it was a conscious uncoupling. Let me ask you this. Yeah, he's in town. You know, is he here? <laughs> Uh, he'll be on this program yeah, yeah, in two so, weeks. So that's what my anxiety attack was yeah, yeah. about. So, so, at what Starbucks. Asking, so what I'm asking is, is that you know, if you guys are okay and you guys are great friends, yeah, he's here. I bet you money you won't see him while you're in LA. Oh no, no, no! We're gonna meet up and play pickleball. Uh, <laughs> have you seen that sport, by the way? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's so, like in Austin. So it's it, it and he's up. busy. He's doing a show. No, that, that, that's impossible. To, because I'll tell you why. I think he's got to do he another whiskey ginger episode. Yeah, I think he's up to eight or nine. He texts me every day. He texts me every day. When can I be on Tiger Belly? Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. So he's itching. Right. Mm. To do something. Right. Yeah. To hang out. Yeah. Right. So I know that there is some bad blood there, and I'm I'm asking you. Right? Oh, this is gonna kill him that you had me on first for him. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, uh, I mean, I've, in fact, I've ignored his calls because. Um, well, let me just say something about the Stefano. He's calling the wrong person. He's not the guy to call I to know. get on this podcast. You got to call George <laughs> directly, yeah. and I think that's what you did, probably. Yes, I called George, yeah, and, and then we been. forwarded to Gilbert, yeah, yeah. and then yep. the Spanish guy. I have no idea. I have no idea. The most on. diverse cast I've ever seen. <laughs> no He'll never relay the message to anyone. Yeah. So yeah. you know, when I read it, it's like I always think. Um, I want to do your podcast. I always go, yeah, that'd be a good idea. And then I just, that's it. Yeah. 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 It but, ends with you. Uh, yeah, it ends yeah, with yeah, me. Yeah. So um, just let's, let, let, let's not, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just want a brief answer from you, and then we could just move on. So creatively, I, I feel like, you know, we fulfilled our mission together that God put together. Mm. Our chemistry was rhythmic. It was from the stars. It was, mm -hmm. it, it, we, it was it, incredible. It was incredible. inexplicable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was incredible. And uh, it was very musical. And, um, you know, I believe he wanted more money. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I believe, I believe 
he, he said, wait a second. We you were know, making pretty good money. I know you were. We were about to make really good money. I know. Yeah. And I believe that he kind of went, you know what? I believe that I deserve... A, don't, what do you think? You, you think I'm getting in trouble for this? No, no, no. I want to... I Do you think you're, that you're, this doesn't... I get nervous <laughs> yeah, yeah. with these kinds of things because it's like, you know, friendships are delicate and friendships and work are it's delicate. Business. It's a delicate balance. It's business. And it's business. I also just think you're about to make a Peter Cetera reference that would break my heart. Okay. So what I'm <laughs> saying, though, to you is, is that if Andrew Santino, right, uh-huh. you know, if him and I, if he said some bullshit like, listen, buddy, I do most of the work, um, you know, you're 50% of the thing, but it's like... You don't do the legwork, so I think I think I deserve this amount. You deserve that amount, right? Because we split it 50-50, mm-hmm. right? I think that I would have very had I've, I've had I've had I would have had a really big problem with that. Nothing like that happened. <laughs> Why you raise your hand? Huh? <laughs> Hey, yeah, that was kind of weird. That was weird. I don't yeah, know. Why. Yeah, why? To be honest with you, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I, yeah. yeah. I All right. Know. So nothing like that. Nothing so you're like just that. saying. Uh, just, you're just saying it was creative differences. Uh, yeah. I, you know, uh, he's over here now. He's mm-hmm. here for a couple months. He started a podcast with Sal, which is great. Hey, babe, you should check out. I started one called Long Days. We went in. Different Who are you doing it with? Just solo. Uh huh. Solo. It's going good. It's off to a great start. And his his Hey Babe with Sal is. Doing great. Sal's a big comedy star. Right. Does arenas. But because, uh, let me say something, though. Mm-hmm. Because he did start one with somebody else, it, so the excuse of like him going, I want to go solo. I just want to, you know, create my own franchise and my own market. So he does, you know, he wants to partner up with somebody, right? So that, to me, would mean, sorry, I know you're looking at me in a weird way, but that would, to me, I'm sorry. I apologize. I just have to yeah. just finish my th- train of thought. Thank you. Right? <laughs> sure. Right, there we go. Right, so there you guys are, right? The so old to, days. Yeah. yeah, that's us. All right, so to, I just want to let you know that, I, you know, you can say what you want to say, and, yeah. I, and I don't believe you. Right. Um, I believe that there was bad blood. I believe that it was his, you know what I mean? Because I know he gives people COVID. He gave Santino. He almost killed <laughs> my friend. He almost killed He almost killed my friend, my, one of my best friends, Santino. Yeah. And, and also almost killed us, right? Mm. Yeah. So it's like, you know. He, I, gave, you, he gave you guys all COVID? No, but he. He didn't he, have it. He brought a COVID. He brought a Mexican COVID guy. riddled person into <laughs> oh, the studio. Oh, right, 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 right. He brought a Mexican guy to the studio. Right. Right. I don't that know guy, Donnie, Mexican. he's banging. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Donnie, he's fucking, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who's, I heard he's doing a podcast with as well. Um, oh so, on the side, you know I mean? yeah, on the side. So, um, but uh, he so didn't this, get COVID, which is amazing because he's gotten every other venereal disease. Yeah, yeah, yeah I feel yeah, like yeah. COVID showed up and was like, "There's too." It was like an elevator that was too full, but, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then I got it from Akash. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Too, yeah. So uh, when you got it, when did you get it? I got it uh, in November. Class of, class of 2020. Did it get you good or was it Got bad? me good. Yeah, I had the GI version and uh, I had to Ooh. go to the hospital. And then it was just mostly anxiety after that. So wait, well, you went to the I hospital? I just had a daughter. You couldn't breathe? And no, my breathing was fine. I did have double pneumonia, but oh I was shitting everything out. I was vomiting everything. And I missed my little daughter. She was three weeks old at the time. Oh. So it was, it was all fucked up. And I was quarantining in our studio. To stay away from my mother-in-law and wife and stuff. Wow. So how long did it last? Did it, it was The whole thing was about two, three weeks. So then, yeah, and then, so th- everything got a little chaotic with hyenas. He had started the podcast with Sal. Mm. Uh, I found out about it later. And, uh, <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it. You missed, you missed it. No, no, no. That's just, it. What are you talking about? It, he oh, I found out la- later. You can interpret that as I had COVID? Right, I got it. <laughs> Should we rewind that? How you said that? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why is Bobby five minutes? I can whoa, tell you. Whoa, 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 he didn't honk the horn. He didn't honk. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, I just got it. He fucking left you when you were sick? He didn't honk the horn wow. and say, hey, I'm starting it with someone else. Bro, oh my God, my eyes are burning. So check this out. All right, here's the I didn't say that. I didn't say That's that. What you guys are reading into it. That's what it is. What a bastard. <laughs> we'll be your interpreter. I didn't say yeah, yeah. it. So, so there was- Take a, me to Ibiza. So the comedy <laughs> store, Mitzi Shore, right? Yeah. Mitzi Shore had this uh, accountant for 35 years mm-hmm. named Michael. And for like 20 years, she wanted to fire him, but couldn't get the, have the heart to do it. He had hip surgery, and when he was in surgery, she fired him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story, right? This business is yeah. And he got, when he got out, he was like, "I don't have a job," you know what I mean? So it was like kick him when they're down. Yeah. yeah. So that's what Stefano pulled the Mitzi Shore oh. on Giannis. Oh my lord, yeah. that is cray cray. It seems crazy because I was supposed to do Rogan when he was still on YouTube. Then I got COVID and I got so sick we had to postpone it. And then I did Rogan. And then we broke up right after I did Rogan. Wow. All right, so you get out of COVID. I get out of COVID. Quarantine, right? You're about to do Rogan. Yeah. Right. 
you find out that without any, you know, warning, De Stefano is, had started a new podcast mm-hmm. with Sal. He's right? making out with someone else. Yeah, so you found out about it. I, it we, and in your it, heart, let me ask you something right now. Yeah. When you first found out about it, <laughs> let me, right, did, did you cry? No, I didn't. I thought it was fine. I think the fans were a little confused. I think some of our fans were a little mm. confused. Um, and then so, then did you confront him about the Sal thing? No. All right, so no. how does that work? He just calls you out of nowhere and goes, we're done? No, no, he oh. didn't. Uh, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> you're, you're interrogating me good. <laughs> He's good at asking the questions. Yeah. He's not good at picking up information and the answers. Right, mm. right. He's giving a lot more answers than you think. Right. I know, I, I understand it, right? But for, for our viewers out there and people listening, uh-huh. right? They can't read his like you know facial expression. Uh, You're interpreting. So I'm just think, trying to. You know, this is a good, I think a good way to that that will satisfy you is okay. Good. He likes to do a lot of things. Mm. He likes to do a lot of things. I like to do one. I like to focus on one thing and bring it to fruition. Right. So. <laughs> right. I'm I'm similar to you. Yeah. Similar. Yeah. So. I have to see something through the. I can't. I'm not a, a mm-hmm. multitasker yeah. that way. And he also got a TV show too, so that, and then he had to commit to LA for three months. So things were kind of, it almost seems when we look back now, it almost seems like, ah, maybe that was meant to happen because mm. he was, had to go to LA for three months. He wanted, he did another pot. He was looking, you know, maybe it was just different, vo- you know. Well, how many years did you do the podcast with uh, uh, Chris? Cl- almost three, we did. Three years. Almost three years. How many episodes? Um, I would have to check that. Yeah, hundreds. No, yeah, but if you include uh, Patreon content, yeah, yeah, yeah Patreon, yeah, killer. They're yeah. Killer. no, oh, yeah. I saw because I, I, I want to say this for the record. Um, I want to say this for the all record. the rest of it was off the record. No, this is still on the record. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, more. <laughs> this is more on the record. More on the record. I want to say that um, when you guys did our podcast back in the apartment, right? No, oh. right here in the Next other door. room. Oh, you did it here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So when you guys did it there, um, and um, I didn't know you that well. And, um, and th- I'm, I'm going to be, I'm, so, so, I'm, oh, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> no, I am. I'm speaking from my heart. Okay. Um, I had an epiphany when we were sitting there when you guys came over because I thought, oh, that's why people are listening, because of that guy. <laughs> to Giannis. But... Yeah, because of Giannis. Simon. You know, Paul Simon. I go, that's the songwriter. Mm. And that's the heartbeat of the thing, you know? So it's like, and then um, all of a sudden, you know, and then, you know, the, your partner, Chris, gave, tried to murder my friend with COVID by bringing a Mexican over to her, you know? Yeah. That, and that, his race has nothing to do with, nothing. by the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Has nothing to do with, by the way. All right. And I love your people. He's Spanish. Whatever. Yeah, he's from Spanish. <laughs> same language. From Galicia. Yeah. Same, same, same. Um, uh, DNA? Yeah. Same DNA. So, well, not really, because Mexican is like a lot native and then a Spanish blood. Just listen, can filtered. we just move on? They're both human. Can we fucking move on from it? Sensitive topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not right. Mexican or Spanish, so, by the way. But, so, <laughs> remember. so here's, I'm getting emotional again. Oh, uh, okay. So, so what I'm saying is, is that when I found out of the breakup, it broke me. But you know what? I believe, Giannis, that you have a bright future ahead of you. Thank you. Um, I will because of my loyalty to you. Yes. Um, Chris will not do our podcast while he's here in LA by doing. Are we canceling? Him? Are we canceling him? Well, he's booked in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious to hear what you were no, going to say no, to no, Chris. Wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you something right now. Because I don't know who's coming up. I know you don't. No, no, this is just, but I do. <laughs> just, I, I know. No, no, no. Let me just. <laughs> let me I just, booked him, babe. I, 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 just let me let me finish my train of thought, right? <laughs> Because this is a big decision now, yeah. right? So that guy's coming in two weeks. Or in yeah. a couple weeks. In a couple of weeks. Yeah. When I get, okay, so. Do uh, both, you could do both, though. No, 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 no. I, I have to. It's about loyalty, my friend. Right. It's about um, bonds, blood bonds. Right. Um, cancel it. You okay. have to cancel it. Is that the call? I don't want you to do that. I want you to treat him. Fight for him. <laughs> what is this mind game? <laughs> Giannis, fight for Chris. Giannis, Giannis, fight, fight for, for him to be on the spot. He, fight for him. He is a funny, <laughs> funny guy. Okay? Yeah. You know that. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is a handsome guy. <laughs> right? Maybe. You know that. He likes your legs, though. For a comic, yeah. Yeah, for a comic. He's a very handsome yeah. guy. And 
he's done every other podcast. So you don't want to be the only one left out. Mm, no, that's not. No, no, no. It's like, no, that's not it. That's not it. You know, it's like, I like guests, honestly. I like guests that don't do it often. Like, I'm trying to call people because I know that my friend Ike Barinholtz doesn't really do it. Mm-hmm. You know, Jordan Peele we've had on. And, and I, that's like a thing that Genius. I'm proud of because it's like, you know, no one else got could get Jordan. You know what I mean? So it's like, I want people on our podcast that nobody else can get. So I feel like Chris D is a podcast whore. <laughs> you know, and episode. he's fucked everybody. And but, uh, why would I feel special? I'll, I'll think about having Chris on. I think you should have him on. How's the baby? The baby's amazing. I don't trust her yet, but she's amazing. What do you mean? I just don't know her that well. Yeah, of course. She hasn't done anything for me. <laughs> I know. Hey, guys, we're going to take a really quick break to share some of our favorite sponsors with you. For hymns, 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 Andreas, you have to use it. For hymns, 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 Andreas, you have to use it. <laughs> You've heard us talking about hymns and how they are helping guys look their best. And if you haven't, it's time to see what they're all about, guys. Guys, 